Hi Scorpio, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy birthday to all of you who are celebrating. If this is your sun sign, I appreciate you all and all the support you've given to me as well. And so if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. So today's reading will involve aspects of career, money, finance, and everything else. Mondays could be a law of attraction tarot card reading, a love reading, or a law, um, more detailed Celtic cross. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right. What advice do you have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio. Whoops, we got a couple jumpers. We'll take these as clarifiers. I don't even know what they are. We'll do the tarot, then we're going to have the Halloween Oracle. I, I can't get enough of these and I hardly get to use them. You have the King of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Empress, and the War, uh, Wheel of Fortune, the Lottery Ticket of the Tarot, Knight of Wands, Queen of Cups, very nice, Queen of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. Well, I don't know if you're worried about something, but they're trying to tell you not to be with this. You've got the Queen of Wands here too. Now, this is a very empowered energy with these three queens. You've got a king and three queens. They're masters of the suit. So you have the master of communication and honesty, the master of career expansion and just life expansion, that exciting energy, and the, the master of love and that really great life. So they're telling you here, you have a new cycle coming in and you have it's going to be a whirlwind turn of events. I mean, there's something really beautiful about this together, these three major arcana. You've got the path to the heart here and secrets and information revealed, like the truth revealed. And I feel like it's in this place of an unexpected turn of events, but I'm telling you, Scorpio, you've called this forward. And so we, I think I mentioned we have Pisces here. We have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus here. Um, fire, air, water, and earth, all the elements. But back to this just briefly. So with this, you definitely have expansion coming in. And with that Eight of Pentacles, that's going to bring long-term stability. So for some of you, you're going to have a change here in terms of work and money, but it's very clear cut. Anything that you do to sign a contract, it's going to be very straightforward, okay? There's no revisions. And what, you, what they offer is what you get. What you sign is what you get with this. And so... With um, the energy of the moon, again, I mentioned it may be a bit of an emotional time here, but the moon mirrors the sun. And so with the moon, you actually see the reflection of the sun right in it. They're trying to tell you, you've got a new beginning here. And it is too, in terms of a partnership. For somebody, you have somebody here, um, it might be an air sign too, and that's why we've got all the air. But I do feel like there's love here, but it's going to be somebody who's very straightforward. And they're passionate, but they're not afraid to show you. You've got it here twice too, by the way, Scorpio. And so we know about how you guys can be a bit lustful. And so for you, you might enjoy this quite a bit. Um, I'd say if you've been in a bit of a dry spell, that's not going to keep going because with these two together... Wow. I mean, their knees are drawn apart for a reason. Back in the day when they made the cards, you know, nowadays, Lord knows what and what we'd see in, in the cards. But with this, it's sort of a bit of, leaves a bit up to the imagination, but they're pretty clear about what they're trying to say there. So anyway, with this King of Swords, you've got a wonderful analytical ability, but I also feel like this still represents somebody you're attracting. Like they're not afraid to speak their mind and they're just very straightforward. Now, this one can be a bit emotionally unavailable, but I don't see that happening for you in a love relationship. I just feel like any communication you're getting, any new changes, if you've been worried about work, I feel like you have some kind of a conversation that puts those fears aside. It allows those fears to rest. Those of you, this is your sun sign and you've been looking at this year and saying, 
uh, last year I made some promises to myself that I didn't keep. Here's where you set your intentions in a year from now. You're going to be saying this was the year that I kicked ass. This is the year that things were a real turning point because you have it many times. And so with this page of pentacles, you do have somebody here in terms of a relationship or an offer. Now, this can have to do with work and money, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But I still feel like whoever you're attracting, I feel like they like to give massages and things. They're kind of like a very tactile person. And they may be somebody, too, where they're always kind of like when they're driving, they're kind of tapping to the beat of music they're, or maybe humming a lot. There's something about them where they've always kind of got this kinesthetic thing going on. Not in a bad way, though. I mean, it's nothing crazy. It's just something about the way they kind of interact with their body. But anyway, for some of you with work, there is going to be a new opportunity. And like I said, it's going to give you more. Uh, it's going to give you more training with this. Or if you're in some kind of a training program and you're wondering and you've got a worry in your mind with that nine of swords, am I going to get a job? The answer is yes. There's going to be a turn of events here for sure that takes off as far as the cards are saying. But with this page of pentacles, it does bring in a bit of hope, okay? Pages are messengers, but they bring in new energy, new information. And so with this one, it really is looking at the future like there's a lot of opportunity here. There's a lot of, you know, long-term kind of in this way, not just hoping, but really seeing things with an excitement, seeing all those possibilities and being in, in in love with it. So the Empress shows up to say, hey, there's no shortage here. This is all about abundance. It's creativity. And so for some of you too, if you do something in the creative field, and that's a big part of your job, I do feel like you're going to be really respected. Your opinion is respected and very well received. Now there's a really nice, easy going energy here too. And so for some of you too, this represents those of you that's your sun sign having some um, you know, people wanting to get together, people calling you, people telling you, I love you, that kind of thing, acknowledging you and just acknowledging your presence here and how special it is. So this also is the mother of the tarot though. So some of you too, if you're thinking about a baby, you have mothers here a couple of different times. Now, even if you're a man, doesn't matter. It's genderless in the tarot. But there's that kind of parental undercurrent. But I, what I also get with that too is like you're being taken care of. This undercurrent of wanting to love and support you as well. Um, but ultimately with this, I mean, she's the she's ruled by Venus. She's ruled by love. But she's also the multiplier of forms and ideas. So again, creating, successful, bringing in new opportunities. And with the Wheel of Fortune, get ready high vibrational stuff. So some of you too, I feel like this is a card that somewhat relates to that nine of swords in terms of when knowing when to let go and when to hold on. This is like letting go of angst, letting go of anything that doesn't serve you and moving forward. This is also too, if somebody does pull tabs or keno or something at the bars, not just bars, but you know, restaurants that have like a, a sports bar, but it really is a restaurant. Somebody who likes to hang out at those, I do feel like you're going to win some money on that. Now, I'm not encouraging people to start gambling. I get that for somebody that's already doing that. So let's not run out and blow our paycheck on that stuff. But with this, I do feel like there's an excitement in the air for you. And it feels like your energy is like roaring. It's just with this, you're going to want to move ahead. You're going to have that, really that excitement about things. And so speaking of which... The excitement of the nine of wands, Knight of Wands, this isn't going to slow anything down, I'll tell you that. So things may move forward fast. Those of you, again, that it's a new job, it's an opportunity that's very clearly presented. There's no second guessing. There's no questionable information. And there's no mistakes either. And so with this, if you start a new job, you're going to hit the ground running. I mean, there really is, it's really going to feel like you actually want to be doing this. And, so, and it reminds me of like when you take a college class and you actually like the class and you can't wait to get there. You want to hear the information because you love it. It's this. And so others of you, though, in a relationship, we talked about how it's very no nonsense, but there's passion, too. Part of it is this person has it for you. So they don't have mince words and beat around the bush because their feelings are true and sincere. 
there's no game playing, but there's definitely passion. So Queen of Cups comes in. And this Queen of Cups also, too, is telling you to listen to your intuition. So if you get invited out to something with the Wheel of Fortune, and you kind of have this sort of undercurrent of, you keep thinking about it, you keep saying, God, I should go to that. This is this. It's the connection to the Wheel of Fortune saying, yes, you should. Um, it is a card, though, of nurturing and love. And I do feel like for you, it's going to be a time, especially with the Empress, where you really do feel supported. You have people, like I said, contacting you and telling you. And being in that place of just feeling like you're connected with the right people at the right times. So the Queen of Swords shows up. Again, that very analytical energy. She's also the card of the attorney. But I feel like in this case, it again, it has something to do with the person you're attracting or the environment where things are just very straightforward. She also is an indication, too, that you've learned old lessons. So if you're worried a little bit about, God, I don't want to do that again, you're not going to because this, will, coupled with the Queen of Cups, is going to give you the energy of saying, hey, I got an, I got, I'm thinking about this. I'm getting this feeling about this. And this is the intellectual reasoning that says you're going to listen to that feeling, okay? So the Nine of Swords here, needless worry. Nines are about completion, attainment, and realizations. So for somebody, you're going to get just enough information to be able to let go of this. That's the only real, like, slightly concerning energy in the whole reading. Otherwise, I'd say it's gold. So let's see here, Scorpio. I forgot to show you this. I showed these on the Law of Attraction. But the back of these is so cute. And then wait until you see the front. They're like these very dramatic, incredibly drawn cards. Beautiful. All right. What advice do you have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know, please, for the best and highest good? All concerned with Scorpio. All right, we've got here ancestors. All right, um, so with this, the love and legacy of our DNA, that's what this one means. So they're telling you that you're perfectly set up to achieve your highest potential with this one. And all, all your ultimate purpose, too. You've got protection and you will prevail. Good things are on the way, Scorpio. I love you and I'll be back again soon.